In today's exercise, we're going to create a very simple fence without any construction details. We're going to practice how to create components, how to make multiple copies by using move and rotate tools, and how to apply materials. Let's get started. Click on the simple template in inches to start a new drawing. From now on, I'm going to delete the scale figure. One click, press delete. I'm not using it for reference anymore. Use the shape tool to draw a 4x4 four four square on the ground. 4, comma, 4, enter. Use the push pull tool to pull it up. Input in measurement box six feet, enter. Use the select tool from left to right. Select everything of the post, right click, make component. In the definition, input fence post. Click on create. So now if I click on the post, I can select the fence post as a whole, is a component now. Use the move tool, press control key or option key on Mac to create a copy. First click at this base point, move along the red axis. You can press the right arrow key to lock this direction and the input six feet enter. Use the shape tool again from the top corner of the first post to the bottom corner of the second one to create a panel. Use the select tool to double click on the face. Right click to make it a component. This time I'm going to call it fence panel. Click on create. Use the move tool to move this panel component from this end point to the middle point. So now this panel is aligned with the center of the post. Use the select tool to select both the panel and hold on shift key to add the second post. Move it a little bit and activate the move tool. First click at the base of the first post. Oh, you can press the control key now to make a copy and the second click on the second post immediately without like moving or touching anything, input 5x, enter. So if I zoom extend, you will see I will get six panels on the front side of my fence. Now let's practice using rotate tool to create the two sides of the fence. First, select Use the select to select this second post from right. Hold on shift key to add this panel. I want to rotate these two along the center of this post. I'm going to draw some construction reference lines with the line tool. Turn it into line tool. Click on the corner to draw from press the escape key to draw this line and then draw again from corner to corner. Press escape key. So now I got this intersection as my base. I use the rotate tool right here or oh, press Q on your keyboard to activate this protractor. So first click is on the base rotation center point which is the intersection of these 
two crossing lines. First click uh, is on the center. Second click on the midpoint of this edge. So now I forgot to press the control key to create a copy. You can do that right now. And then third click on this mid, uh, midpoint of the edge. Okay, here's something new. You may already notice this panel has a different color than the others. Is it because this panel is facing the other side? So this gray color is actually the back of the face panel. To flip it, you select it and use the flip tool right here. I'm going to click on the green screen, which is like this one highlighted, just one click on it. So the panel will be flipped facing outside. Uh, switch to select tool now. Okay, I need to use the eraser to erase all these construction reference lines. They shouldn't be in the drawing. Uh, I can copy these two items to the left side. However, I want to practice the rotate tool again. Let's do it again. Select, use select tool to select the second post from left. Hold on shift key to select this panel. This time, instead of drawing construction lines, I'm going to use the inferencing to try to encourage SketchUp find the center point of the this post. So now I can activate the protractor of rotation. And then I just press uh, up arrow key to lock this protractor to this surface. Now I move my mouse hover the midpoint of this edge and then move along the red axis. You will see a very light uh, dotted red line there. And then I will move over to this midpoint and move along the green axis until I snap to the midpoint uh, of the first one. So it seems like I, this two movement encourage SketchUp to realize I'm trying to look for the intersection of these lines from the midpoint along the red and the green axis. So now I found my base uh, center point of rotation. I first click right here. Now I second click on this midpoint to start, start the rotation. Press the control key to make a copy again. And the third click on this midpoint. So this is a simpler way without using the construction line or reference lines. So now I need to, okay, orbit to the other side. Use the select to select here. Now you know what to do. Click the flip tool. Click on the green, green screen to flip this one, the panel facing outside. So now I switch to select tool. You will see I got the start first panels of, the, uh, of both sides. Now use the select tool from right to left. Just add a corner right here to select this panel and this post. Hold on shift key to select the left first panel and the post as well. Use the move tool, zoom in a little bit. Click the base point from here. Oh, 
<laughs> press the control key to make a copy and the second click at this base, same base point on the second post. Without doing any other function, input 9x immediately in the measurement box. I got total 10 panels along each side. The back, uh, the back side of the fence is easy. I'm going to copy the front side to the back. So use the select tool. I'm starting from this point, select, creating a crossing select window to select all the panels of the front and the post. Um, if you're not sure, orbit around to make sure you didn't select anything on the side post or panels. So double check. Now just go ahead to activate the move tool. The first base point, click at this corner, press the control key to make a copy. And you just move your mouse here and scroll the scroll view up to zoom in to this corner. You see, I need to zoom in to make a precise click, click right here. Now you can zoom out and see this back uh, fence looks okay. All right, so probably click somewhere else to deselect everything and then hold on shift key to select only the panels and use the flip tool again, click on the green to flip them facing outside. Okay, so now I think I finished double check around everything about the drawing. Okay, next we are going to apply some materials to the fence. Select this paint bucket tool. The material panel will automatically open in the default tray. For Mac user, you will see a pop-up dialog window of the colors and the materials. For PC user, click on this drop-down menu, change it to landscaping, fencing, and vegetation. Select any of the material you like. So I'm going to show you this. Um, I just click on one of the posts. You see, because this post is a component, every face is inside this component, which have not got a material been applied, they will receive the material I apply to the whole component. However, I have to click on each of the single post to apply materials. In case I want to change material in the future, this is definitely not the approach I want to do. So I'm going to use Ctrl Z to undo. Instead, use the select tool to double click on one of the posts, entering the editing mode of the component. Now I triple click on one of the faces, selecting all the faces in this component and use the material to one click to apply the material to all the individual faces inside this component. Now if I switch back to select two and click anywhere in the empty space, you notice all the post has been updated with the new material. This is super convenient for future editing. Let's do the same for the panel. Just pick any panel. So double click entering the editing mode and apply a material. So I'm going to use the picket uh, concave fence. 
you will notice the texture is not aligned correctly. So you want to adjust it by right click on the texture. In the context menu, select texture position. You will see there are four pins, which are the handler of this texture. I'm going to click and drag this red one snap to the bottom of my panel, which is the position of the uh, texture, orbit to the other angle, and click and drag the green one to scale the whole texture proportionally bigger. Switch back and zoom out a little bit. Now I'm going to click and drag this blue one to stretch this texture bigger. I'm going to stretch it a little bit bigger than the panel. Okay, now if I click anywhere outside this array of textures, it will save the changes I just made. One more thing, I want to edit the color of the picket to match the post color. So when you select this material, in the material panel, click on edit, click on this little icon, which is match color of object in the model, and use the eyedropper to one click on your post. So the picket will pick up the color, will keep its original texture, however, change the color based on the post color. One last thing, I want to edit this material. See this thick black line on top? This is actually the edges of the material. So I'm going to double click on the face, selecting everything, and hold on shift key to deselect the face. So now I'm selecting only the four surrounding edges of the panel, right click, no, sorry, deselect the face and right click on this edge and select hide. So now if I click anywhere outside, you will see all the fence panels will be updated with the new material. Okay, I think we have done with the fence. Um, by making this fence, we have learned how to create component with the pose and the panel. We have used move and the rotate tools to position those panels to make a enclose the fence. And then we have learned how to apply materials and adjust the texture positions and edit the color of the material. Okay, I'm going to stop here. Don't forget to save your model.